What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday and it's my daughter's birthday. They went out for a movie and I took the opportunity to wash my car. I don't normally wash my car in the bright sun in this situation, but I figured a quick wash since I already have the ceramic coating, it, uh, it's a quick process anyways. So, um, but this is not about washing my car today. It's more of a follow up on I previously mentioned that I had my carbon fiber center console coming in from AY Customs and they had arrived. It took me the longest time to decide what to do with the center console. At first I was going to do a DIY, just do the carbon fiber laminate on my own. But to be honest, I really haven't had the time to do any DIY projects. So I decided to wait for the real carbon fiber stuff. And I know a couple different company had already came out with the real carbon fiber center console, but buddy at AY Custom, I did get it for free, but I just want to show you the quality of the, the weave, the finish and um, everything, uh, even to the un unpack. The, the packaging is somewhat overkill from what I was told uh, since it is for me. Uh, so don't expect your package to be that nicely wrapped. But I'm going to show you the unwrap uh, unboxing uh, process as well. So let's take the pieces out in the sun and let's see the carbon fiber out in the sunlight. So I can't hold every piece in my hand, but here are two of the pieces. Uh, one for the uh, steering wheel button cover and this is the center console where the cup holder is and it's got the cutout for your key card. Um, I was told that without the cutout the NFC will not be recognized um, due to the extra thickness I believe but to be honest if you look at it it's super thin it's paper thin it's most likely vacuum bagged with the least amount of resin possible I mean the weaves are really pretty see this is where the carbon fiber vinyl wouldn't get you the glossy and the three-dimensional effect because these are legit carbon fiber and it, it, it wraps around uh, same as the cup holder section it wraps around so it's up to avoid showing any of the original piano black panel so let's Let's put these in and see how they fit. So I'm in the car now, as you can see that my Piano Black factory center console is pretty nasty. It's, I mean, not that it has a lot of scratches, um, but all these watermarks, um, just, that's just really likes to be stuck on the panel. So before I fit these pieces on, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, prep my surface. It's just, Give it a good wipe and clean up the, you know, the, the surface of the center console. So when I go ahead and apply the adhesive backing, 3M tapes, it will stick and doesn't come off in the future. So I'm just gonna use a microfiber towel. Um, I think it comes with alcohol wipes for you to prep your um, center console. That without you having to look for your own um, product, cleaning product. So, just want to make sure I clean everything well. And by the way, um, if you're new to the channel, this is my channel that you're watching. And if you like seeing what I do, hit that, where, where is it? Well, hit the subscribe button and, you know, make sure you uh, let me know how you feel about my videos, what you like to see. Um, check out my other videos. I probably am one of the few, like, car guys that document their Tesla Model 3 on YouTube. And then my Instagram is also um, linked with my YouTube channel, so check that out. So, 
now that it's kind of clean let me set my camera down and i can do i can apply these guys um, with two hands okay so now before i peel the backing of the the adhesive i'm just gonna lay it over and see how they all fit everything's well covered all the corner and edges and let's see so this the back here is a little um, tight but it snapped right in perfect and let me show you actually i'm gonna show you after i install it uh, for now um, i'm gonna leave the camera where it is so it looks pretty good to me and then I believe this is here. There's no, there's a little bit plate, but uh, for you to move around until you probably want to line up the top because uh, if you shift this up, you still show the original piano black. If you do it like this, it's perfect. There's nothing shown here. I can't even see any uh, of the original black pieces anymore. And then this, this is just another piece that goes on here, which I most of the time have it up anyways because uh, of the charging phone and just I have my game controller cable that is kind of preventing this from closing. But looking at this right now, um, I'm gonna move the camera so you can see from my perspective. But looking at it like that, like this. I probably want to close this lid now because it looks so good with the whole piece being carbon fiber. But so let's peel them off or peel off the backing and start um, pressing them down and have them install permanently. Okay, so before I stick it on, once again, I want to point out some detail of these particular covers from AY Testing. Look at the 3M adhesive here. It's cut around. If I were to do it myself, I might just cut it short here and one and another different piece here. And because this is just, it's going to take me extra time to do, but it came this way and i think it's a really nice detail it shows the quality of the product uh, but i'm gonna let you judge you know uh the the actual finish of the product and how it fits and everything and it didn't take me too long to peel off all the backing it's probably gonna take me longer to clean up but um, also uh, to point out something like this you might want to flatten out before from my when i peel it you might want to flatten that out because um, being so thin, um, once you install it, anything that may prevent the piece from not sitting perfectly flat and flush, um, it might show if you didn't fix all that. So let's put this in. Um, so. If you line it up perfectly, there's not really much you have to do because everything sort of falls in place. And that's it. Happy with where it is. Firmly press it down. Make sure you get all the edges and corners, especially like that thin area. not going anywhere I'm gonna show you some close-up later but uh, let me go ahead and do these two off camera and then I'll show you the final product all right so I had everything tacked down and uh, installed um, one final tip I guess is before you tack this down like just lay it on top uh, maybe press the corner in just so it stays but before you press go, go crazy and push everything down permanently um, 
do a fit check and just make sure it opens and closes without rubbing. My first attempt went perfectly smooth, uh, no touching, no rubbing at all. So, um, but I figured that's something good to know. Um, but I would say as as long as you match the line, uh, line these up. Um, at first, I laid down this little gap was larger than this, but um, I just stick my knife or find a piece of credit card or something and stick it in and just kind of push it back over so it's even uh, on both sides and yeah the, the finish is awesome um, not the now that I have to clean up my mess but it you know everything works just fine uh, I don't have a macro lens but you can see how flush these are it lines up perfectly there's no black showing I mean when you open it you can see the black but um, when it's closed all you see is glossy carbon fiber so on to the next piece I have these guys um, these guys go here like that I'm just gonna go with my fake carbon fiber which is not that bad. I mean, for the extra grip and just the sake of protection for my original steering wheel, I'm okay with this being thick and it's like $30 versus uh, $700 or up to $1,000. So um, I'm going to set the camera down once again and get these installed. All right, so the backing is off, but before I put it on, um, while I was removing the backing, I do notice that once again, um, everything is curved around the, you know, when you put it on. When you put it on, it's gonna curve right around all the edges to make sure you maximum the, the coverage. Uh, even this little circle button here, it, it's got a curve to it, so. Pretty neat. So let's put this on. I think it's better to uh, have it more on this side and lay it down. And then if you find it off, misaligned, you can slightly push it from this side because you can't really push from this side. It's all tucked in. But there you go. That's it, everything looks good. The top corner here was kind of uh, curved in, which uh, I used my knife. Probably you want to use something more like a like a credit card or a wooden stick, plastic, uh, to not avoid damaging, but, but um, just to push it back out a little bit. And that's it. And let's see, I'm gonna do the Center piece next. So here's my box of big carbon fiber stuff. Which um, all these stuff they are now. These are not from AY Customs. These are from Amazon that I bought before. Which I was gonna use these as a base to laminate the carbon fiber over it. But um, now I think. Uh, AY Custom have these as well in real carbon fiber. So here's the exact two pieces: uh, one in one in fake carbon fiber, one in real carbon fiber. Um, this is actually a lot heavier too. This is like a metal piece. Um, they do have the wrap around as well. I'm sure fitment is not an issue, but um, just the quality of the carbon fiber, you can't, you know argue over it's so nice and shiny it's got a smooth top finish these have like i don't know like you can see the reflection it's just different now the adhesive for these pieces are not as precise but nonetheless um i'm sure it's gonna hold just fine 
to go all the way around is kind of overkill and you know uh, it's nice touch but not needed so once again lay it on off more toward this side and then do my minor adjustment like that and then once I'm happy with it maybe I'll press it down and then I'm gonna just take a look at that corner this time actually it lines up perfectly but I'm um, just gonna make sure when I push it down it stays where it is and it does and that's it look at that I like it simple um, some people um, do you know lettering here maybe like red Tesla I actually like it like this yeah, to be honest I might do black here but just the way it is it looks pretty nice so I might just leave it but again you be the judge um, quality fit and finish shiny carbon fiber fit nicely So once again, these were sent to me uh, by my buddy at AY Customs, but I'll let you guys decide if these are worth the money or not. I will leave a link to the description to where you can get them, as well as a promo code where you can save, uh, I forgot how many percent, but uh, I'll, I'll list it in the description. Um, I don't get anything out of it, but you get a little discount out of it. So. Um, it's not too bad. I think they're like uh, about uh, hundreds or so dollars. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching this video. I know it's not really exciting, but I am excited about this. Um, and I'm going to continue on to my daughter's birthday party, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.